everybody. Mr. Matt Fogg here. This uh, lesson is our 11th lesson in Chapter 1, uh, Evaluate Numerical Expressions. And so here's our common core strand. And our question is, in what order must operations be evaluated to find the solution to a problem? So we're going to learn about uh, order of operations in this lesson. So uh, recall that a numerical expression is a mathematical phrase that uses only numbers and operations, no equal sign. If it, if it has an equal sign, it's called an equation. Equation equal. So if there's not an equal sign, then these are called numerical expressions. So these, are, these three are examples of numerical expressions, okay? All right, so and then to evaluate these or find the value of them, then uh, of the numerical expression with more than one operation, uh, we must follow a rule that's called the order of operations. And the order of operations tells us in what order we should evaluate the expression. So here there's a minus, and here's a times, here there's a division and a plus, here there's some parentheses and a minus and a plus. Over here we have parentheses also. So we have to follow a, a certain order right here. So the order of operations is this, you guys. The first step always is to perform the operations in the parentheses. So we, if there's parentheses, we have to do those first. And then after we do the parentheses, then we do any multiplying or dividing from left to right. It doesn't matter if division comes first or multiplication comes first, just like you're reading a book from left to right. And then we do adding or subtracting. Here I made that a little bit bigger here, okay? So first step is to do uh, parentheses first, and then multiplying or dividing second, and then adding or subtracting uh, uh, from left to right uh, third, okay? So here's an example. A trail mix recipe calls for four cups of raisins and two cups of nuts. To triple the recipe, how many cups of raisins and nuts are needed in all? Okay, so here we're going to evaluate three times four plus three times two to find the total number of cups, okay? Now there's other ways we can do this, but we're just, uh, we're just following. A, this is an example right here to uh, f uh, evaluate these expressions. So here, John did not follow the order of operations correctly. This is what John did first. John said, first I added, so he added 4 plus 3 in the middle and got 7 right here. And then he multiplied 3 times 7 is 21, times 2 is 42. So John got 42 because he added in the middle. So we need to do uh, the order of operations. So, so why was John's answer not correct? Well, he was supposed to multiply first. He was supposed to multiply uh, 3 times 4 first and then 6 times 2 and then add at the second, okay? So he's supposed to multiply first and then add. So let's follow the order of operations by multiplying first and then we'll add. So here let's go ahead and multiply three times four and then we'll multiply six times two. So this is gonna get us 12 over here and this is gonna get us six. So 12 plus six uh, gets us that when we multiply first and then when we add those seconds, then 12 plus six equals 18. Okay, so 18 cups of nuts and raisins were needed in that right there, okay? To always answer in the context of the problem right there. All right, so evaluate expressions uh, with parentheses, okay? So uh, to evaluate expressions with parentheses, we need to follow the order of operations. So the order of operations says do parentheses first, multiply or divide next, and then add or subtract uh, third, okay? So here we go. Uh, Julie is making her magic pancakes for her club meeting. Each batch of pancakes uses three uh, cups of flour, one cup of milk, and two cups of sugar. Julie wants to make five batches, so how many cups uh, will she need in all? Okay, so we're going to write an expression to represent this. Okay, so we're doing five batches, so it's going to be five times. Here's the three cups for the flour, here's the one cup for the milk, and then here's the two cups for the sugar. So it's going to be five times the sum of all those cups right there. All right, so we're going to first perform uh, the operation in parentheses first. We always do parentheses first, okay? So 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, okay? And now we do the multiplying, so 5 times 6 is 30, okay? So Julie will need uh, 30 cups of flour, milk, and sugar in all. Okay? All right, so what if Julie made four batches? Will this change the numerical expression and explain? Okay, well, if she did four batches instead of five, then yeah, it's going to change everything. So this, this outside number is going to be a four instead of this five right here. It'll still be six inside of here, but it would be four times six. 
uh, which is only 24 cups right there. Okay, so sure it would. All right, so here they want us to rewrite the expression with parentheses um, uh, to equal this given value. So here's an expression right here, 6 plus 12 times 8 minus 3. And they're telling us that the value is 141. Gosh. So we need to put some uh, uh, parentheses in place. There's our order of operations. Okay, so um, let's evaluate this expression without the parentheses. Okay, so without the parentheses, we have to do the multiplying first. Okay, there is no parentheses right now, so we have to multiply 12 times 8 is 96 okay so when we plug in 96 right there then it becomes 6 plus this is 96 so 6 plus 96 is 102 and then finally 102 minus 3 whoops I forgot an equal sign right there but it equals 99 okay so that equals 99 right there all right and we want it to equal 141 so let's try and place parentheses in the expression so the value is 141 Okay, so we need to think about uh, are the parentheses, uh, will parent, uh, placing parentheses increase or decrease the expression? Well, we want it to increase the expression right here. So there's, you know, you just kind of got to guess and check and figure it out. And, and I'm just saving time right here if I did a bunch of guessing and check. And fortunately on this first one, if I put a parenthesis here and a parenthesis here, okay, we get that right there. And then, uh, so if we did this order of operations right there, we'd add 6 plus 12 first. So let's go ahead and use order of operations. And so 6 plus 12 is 18. And in a lesson or two ago, we did 18 times 8. Uh, remember, maybe maybe not, but 18 times 8 is 144. We did that in a lesson, I think, ago, or maybe two lessons ago. And then 144 minus 3 is 141, so we did get the parentheses placed right correctly there. So it says rewrite the expression to uh, uh, with parentheses. So the parentheses on this one should have gotten uh, gone before the, the 6 and right after the 12, and that would have given us 141. All right, let's try this again. This one's a little bit harder, you guys. I had to guess and check a little bit on this one right here. All right, so uh, let's evaluate this expression without parentheses, okay? Well, first, without parentheses, we have to do 28 divided by 7. 28, we have to do multiplying and dividing first, okay? So we can't do the addition and subtraction until the very end. So 28 divided by 7 is 4, so we have 5 plus 4 minus 4. 5 plus 4 minus 4 gets us uh, 9 plus 4, which is 5. So it gives us 5, not 11. So we have to put parentheses in there. So uh, let's try placing parentheses in the expression so the value is 11. All right, now this took me a bit, you guys, but we had to place two sets of parentheses right here. So is the parentheses going to increase or decrease the expression? Well, again, we want it to increase to 11 right there. Now I tried placing parentheses here and here and got a decimal, you know, because 33 does not divide by 7 evenly. And if we placed um, parentheses here and here, that's not going to, that gets us, um, let's see, 28 divided by 1 is 28. We get 33. So what we had to do was place parentheses in two spots, uh, before the 5 and the 28, and before the 7 and after the 4 right there. So 5, and so let's go ahead and do that, you guys. Let's do order of operations and check. 5 plus uh, 28 is 33. 7 minus uh, 4 4 is 3, and 33 divided by 3 gets us 11. So there it is right there, okay? So so have fun on this. I hope you guys are having a great year, and your teacher is just rocking you with this math stuff. Take care, you guys.